Hey, welcome back, it's Jason Walter here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top five myths about what it's actually like to live in the greater Sacramento area. So if you're thinking about moving here, then this video is for you. Myth number one, Sacramento is a cow town. And this is far from the truth because I've only seen one cow in my years of living here. I'm guessing the city got this name a long time ago when people drive into Sacramento or fly into Sacramento and they see lots of fields on the outskirts of the city. The surrounding area is also very rich in agriculture. So for example, Blue Diamond Growers is headquartered in Sacramento and they are the world's largest producer of almonds. Lots of people also enjoy growing their own fruits and vegetables in their backyards. And Sacramento is one of the fastest growing cities in all of the state. With our over 500,000 residents, Sacramento is the state's sixth largest city and the ninth largest capital in the US. Myth number two, there's nothing to do here. Of course, we're not like New York City, Los Angeles, or San Francisco, but there's still a lot of fun things to do in the greater Sacramento area. So for example, there's a lot of things to do with the kids. Also, there's a lot of great restaurants in the Sacramento area, as well as museums and parks, and of course, the great outdoors. You also can attend a professional sporting event, such as the Sacramento Kings basketball team and the Sacramento River Cats, which is our minor league baseball team, which is based actually in West Sacramento. You also can check out the Sacramento Republic FC, which is our professional soccer team. For the great outdoors, there's a ton of hiking trails in Auburn, which is in the foothills about 45 minutes away from Sacramento. One of our favorite hikes in the Auburn area is the Lake Clementine Trail, which goes under Forest Hill Bridge and leads to beautiful Lake Clementine. If you're into trail running, mountain biking, or road biking, there's also a lot of options in the greater Auburn area as well. Road biking is also very popular around the American River Bike Trail, which runs from Old Sacramento to Folsom Lake. There's also a lot of options in the foothills. So for example, there's a lot of road biking options in Folsom, El Dorado Hills, Granite Bay, Newcastle, and Loomis, to name a few. If you're interested in learning more and finding people to bike with, then check out Cycle Folsom, which is a popular cycling club in the greater Sacramento area, and there's hundreds of members. Myth number three, there's only chain restaurants in Sacramento. And this is definitely far from the truth because we have a lot of really good restaurants in the area. Some of our favorites are The Kitchen, which is a Michelin star restaurant in Sacramento that was announced in 2019. It's an amazing dining experience, but you have to make reservations months in advance. We also love Crew in East Sacramento and McCoonies for Sushi, as well as Wildwood Kitchen and Bar in Sacramento, as well as Zinfandel Grill. There's also a ton of really good coffee shops and pubs if you wanna grab a good beer. Myth number four, Sacramento has no history. Of course, it's nothing like Europe, for example, of course, but there are a few important pieces of history here. So for example, gold was found close by in 1848, which started the gold rush. Sacramento also became the western end of the Pony Express, as well as part of the first transcontinental railroad system. Myth number five, the weather here is absolutely horrible. Of course, it can get very hot here in the summer months. Uh, oftentimes it can get over 100 degrees and my wife and I actually got married when it was 106 degrees outside and it was an outdoor wedding. But our summer nights are very, very comfortable around 60 degrees on average in the summer months. And also it doesn't get humid here in the Sacramento area. Plus, we also have what's called the Delta Breeze, which brings cooler air to the region from the Bay Area and the Delta, which cools off our nights during the summer months. What I also like about the area here is that it doesn't snow in the winter. We get about 20 inches of rain on average in the winter, though. And the fall and spring months are my favorite months here because highs are in the 70s and 80s with no humidity. If you have any additional questions about what it's actually like to live in the greater Sacramento area, then feel free to shoot me an email or comment below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And by the way, this is my third video on this brand new YouTube channel that I just started a couple of weeks ago. I'll leave a link below to my main YouTube channel, which has approximately 40,000 subscribers, and I post housing market updates and everything real estate related. So if this video was helpful, then please hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate that. And also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. You also can follow me on Instagram. I'm Sacramento Realtor. Hope you have an awesome day and look forward to seeing you on the next video.